instructions that were actually agreed to by counsel for both sides regarding joint tenancy and also regarding uh, witness credibility. Regarding joint accounts, the creation of a joint account creates the presumption that the original account holder intended to convey to the joint account holder a legal interest in that account. The presumption permits each joint account own owner the right to withdraw front funds from the account. In this case, you must start with the presumption, you must start with the presumption that Kathy is the legal owner of the account. Nevertheless, the existence of a joint account is not conclusive evidence of ownership. A joint account may be established merely for convenience, without the intention to create a gift. In this case, Kathy has, the, has, has an interest in the account only if Mary intended to convey a completed gift to Kathy. Because of the presumption, the burden is on Tom, as the executor of Mary's estate, to establish that Mary did not create the account with the intention of giving Kathy an interest in the money. So the legal effect of the presumption is, if you, if you honestly cannot decide, if you are just evenly balanced as to who, what, what, what uh, Mary's intention was in this case, then you have to find for Kathy because she has the legal presumption. Regarding witness credibility, it will be your duty to decide any disputed questions of fact. You will have to determine which witnesses to believe and how much weight to give to their testimony. You should give the testimony of each witness whatever degree of belief and importance that you judge it is fairly entitled to receive. You are the sole judges of the credibility of the witnesses. And if there are conflicts in the testimony, it is your function to resolve those conflicts and to determine where the truth lies. With those instructions, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give you two minutes to finish your complete your ballots. If people have pens, please share. Uh, then we're going to be collecting the ballots, and I'm going to talk for a few minutes about how Mary, whatever her intention, could have avoided this trial. First of all, um, uh, we just want to start off by really thanking Trish Davidson, who's an attorney at Mario O'Connell, Antonio Trubiano, who's a, who was an attorney at Mario O'Connell, uh, Todd Jewett, who was an attorney at Mario O'Connell, Mike Christie, as you know, is an attorney, and Sue Dusso was one of our fabulous paralegals for being terrific, terrific in this Now, a couple of observations about what you just heard. Haven't you heard this before? You know, and haven't you heard just all of this? And these kinds of conflicts among families before? This is the case that I sometimes think of as referring to as the case of the nod. What was that nod about at the bank? No? What, you know, did she really know what she was doing? And what was the truth? I mean, you heard all kinds of stories about different people here. And, and as a juror, you had to kind of listen to everything. But what you don't know as a juror is anything else. You heard this little window of facts based upon which you have to make a decision. Now imagine that you're married, and you're not dead yet, and you're trying to figure out what to do with this $100,000, right? If you're married and you really wanted to leave the money to Kathy, right, what could you have done to prevent this trial from happening? Well, one of the things you could have done, or look at it a different way. If I, as the judge, right, am faced with a serious problem, you're married and you're dead, so I'm trying to figure out from various other people what it was that you wanted, because that's really my job, is to figure out what you really wanted. You've given me no instructions about that. You could have. You could have put a line in your will. You could have said in your will, if I leave any joint accounts, it is to be presumed, right, or it, I, it is my wish that the surviving joint account holder is to own the account. Or you could have said in your will, 
If I leave any joint accounts, it's my wish that all the money stay in the estate. You could have done something like that, but I've got the judge. I don't have any evidence like that. Another thing you could have done, you could have actually, if you didn't want to do that because you had always wanted to you know, treat everybody you know, the same and you were kind of embarrassed about the fact you were helping Kathy, at the very least, you could have written over a letter. You could have written something to Kathy. Oh, Kathy, I really appreciated all the time you spent with me and my, you know, and it was, my art was great and Tom's a jerk, so I don't want to tell him that, but you know, I want to leave you that extra money. So if this kind of contest starts showing up, Kathy can at least bring out the letter. At least that's something, some evidence of what Mary's intention was. What if you didn't want that to happen? What if you didn't want Mary to, or Kathy to end up with the money? Well, one possibility is, instead of putting her on as the joint tenant on the account, you could have given Kathy a power of attorney. Mary could have simply kept the account in just her name, appointed Kathy as the person who was able to get to the bank and sign the checks and all that stuff while she was alive, but know that upon her death, the power of attorney would expire. The power of, powers of attorney die when you do. Uh, which would have meant that the, all the assets would have stayed in the estate. Another possibility, if she had wanted to avoid probate completely, which I, 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 many of you were here you know, several months ago when we talked about that, probate and how to avoid it. A lot of times that's the goal of the exercise, is to not spend what just got spent here on legal fees, right, in order to litigate this question. You can avoid it completely by using trust, by, having, by taking this account that was in Mary's name, naming yourself as the, as the trustee of that account, naming your substitute trustee, and making it clear who the beneficiaries are going to be so that this account never hits the probate court, which I think is kind of a, a, an admirable goal. Do, do, I have, do I have numbers? So there are a lot of possibilities regarding what you can do. The main thing is you want to be as clear about this as possible. You don't want it. The, let me put it this way. For this $100,000 bank account, I think the last thing that Mary really wanted to do was to spend, oh, about 40000 of it on the legal fees that just happened as a result of this trial. That's the last thing that she wanted to do, or right? Or more. Or more. That's right. So you don't, you know, I mean, you, usually, when you, we, usually when I'm talking to people about estate planning, I say, you know, what you want to make sure of is that you don't include in your estate plan, oh, I think I really can leave some, want to leave some money to the IRS. You know, or the Department of Revenue, or my lawyer. We're usually not part of the estate plan, so the goal is to kind of not have that happen. Now, any questions regarding any of this? Any questions? Oh. Um, okay, so the results. The results. Um, the executor won. The executor won. Tom won. Uh, that's the good news for you. The bad news for me is that he didn't win by enough. He won with 58.33% uh, of the ballots. He won 14 to 10, and so I have to buy everybody dinner at the Grafton Inn. Thank you. Thank that's you very the best result. That's, uh, <laughs> thank you very, very much for coming today. Uh, I will, we will be back in October, and I also wanted to thank people. I know we had done a mailing during the summer and talked to people, and did a mailing to people and asked, so what do you want to see in the fall? And, and actually 10% of all of you folks actually return those letters with suggestions. So we're going to be doing programs for the rest of the year really based on those return suggestions. We will see you all in October. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you very much. Thank you.